Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We've got £500 worth of £2, so we're going to go through them and hopefully find some rare and valuable coins. And uh, hopefully the whales we need, to com Commonwealth Games whales, to complete the album. Before we start, I'm going to mention the badges. They might be sold out by now, I'm not sure because we're, uh, we're filming a little bit in advance. But if they're not, it's six quid for four badges and uh, an uncirculated Benjamin Bunny. Hopefully you'll know what I mean if you've seen previous videos, I won't waffle on. But before we do the £2 hunt, I've got a little bit of mail to open. So a big thank you to anybody who sends anything to the PO box. That is the address. Um, don't feel obliged to send any coins or free stuff, although we love free stuff. Um, so feel free. Um, and this is um, this this in here. So there's something that I bought myself. And also there's a couple of uh, trading cards, hopefully. Because uh, we're hoping to complete our change checker trading card set. So without further ado... Let's crack on to this. Wait, laughing at? Oh yeah. Oh sorry. I'm in. My, I'm in my Christmas pajamas. So my, so my mum came round. She's bought myself, Lady M, Tech Guy, and Ellie um, Christmas pajamas along with me sisters and nephews and nieces and herself. And um, I tried them on, and I've just kept them on because they're nice and comfy. But yeah, the tags. The tags still in. Anyway, this is as promised from Dave Barrett. So big thank you to Dave Barrett. He, uh, when we were live streaming a few weeks ago, he said that he had Olympic badminton mm. and he would very kindly send it to us so we could stick it in our album. So Dave Barrett, thank you. I know you've been, a, you've been around and a support of the channel for a long time. So very, very much obliged for that. So Lady Anne will have to have a, have to have a scratch of that so we can put it in, mm -hmm. put it in there. Uh, do you want to do the scratch? Because I'd like to put it in now. Do you want to pass me? Uh, yeah, I can do that. How about an EEC stars? Okay. This next one is something that I bought myself. And uh, from the Royal Mint. Although I say I bought myself, I bought it for Lady M because it's Lady M likes this type of thing. See, so I've had it a little while. It's been, you know, probably old news now, the Tigger. But there he is, Tigger, in his coloured format. That's the third one for this year. Six altogether with the three that came out last year. Three more to come out next year. And really looking forward to completing that, uh, that set. So I don't normally buy bunk coins of packaging. I like to take them out and unleash them and touch them. But Lady M loves uh, Winnie the Pooh. So this was a, a no-brainer. And I think it's my favourite of, these, this, of this year's set. Owl second and then that one where they're all in it together is my third favourite, third runner-up. Because I think that's a little bit busy, although it really pops in colour. Mm -hmm. I don't like it in the in the base in the base metal. And I assume I bought one to go in me uh, in my date run album as well. Sure I have anyway. Right, so here's a here's another one. Third and final. Uh, how does this work? Here we go. Here we go. What's this? It's kind of stuck in a bit. Ooh. 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 Lovely. Lovely. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. It's Lady M. She's so lovely. She's so... Just, sorry, I just don't know where that came from there. Right, let's see. We've got a trading card. Hi, Lady M and that bloke that talks a lot. Here is the trading card for what's his name and a gift for you. No need to send anything in return unless you have a spare Olympic football. Yeah, I wish. Um, I have been watching you almost from the start of your channel and really enjoyed the Gibraltar trip. I've often thought about going there or the Isle of Man for coins myself. I also love the A to Z adventures. Keep up the great content from Neil. Thanks, Neil. Um, yeah, and the name you're looking for is Bungle. Uh, for that bloke that uh, talks a lot. Uh, so Neil must be in the club that, Never you know, happened. that wants to maybe keep you on, you know what I mean, rather than replacing you or just going solo. So Neil must be in the, uh, must be in that club. So yeah, so that was, he was, it, and I think he was like, yeah, he did, because he said he would send us the card, didn't he, live, because I was ribbing Lady M about me being the king of the channel and, and all the rest of it. So that's, uh, that is, that's Neil's revenge for Lady M. So yes, like it, I like, I like the banter, I like it a lot. Uh, and Olympic shooting. So this now means that we only need one card to complete the C um, batch three, set three of the change checker trading cards. We only need Peter Rabbit 2018. So if anybody else, if anybody out there has got Peter Rabbit 2018 and you want to do a trade, 
give me a shout. I'm uh, I'm interested. Are you are you okay? are you going to scratch that off as well? You're taking your time, there, lady. You are taking your time. So this is this is your Christmas present. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year. So it's a Christmas card, albeit uh, unopened by the looks of it in its in its beautiful form. Ooh, look at that. So that is that is a stunner. That is part of the Guernsey uh, set from last year, 2020. Was it five of these that came out? They all had a, uh, some kind of song on, didn't they? This is, is that, is that Hark? Hark the Air Old Angels sing, is that? It's quite hard to see. And my chair's broken, so I can't see into the camera to zoom in or anything. So what, all I've got is that. Yeah, yeah Hark right. the Herald Angels sing. That is fantastic. I'll let Lady Emma have a, a nice uh, look Where's at it, uh, Neil. This is from Neil. This is from Neil. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what he said was, so the card was for me, and this is this is for you. Um, it's a it's a, it's a gift for you. Lady M loves the Christmas coins. You got a few, oh, yeah. a few from the Isle of Man in, G in Gibraltar. That's stunning. Thank and, you so uh, much. And there oh, we go. Lovely. That that is nice. Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks, Neil. That is uh, that is nice. That that'll look nice in my coin cupboard, or on the or on the uh, Magic Studio shelf. I like that. That is very kind. Thank you so much. And if anybody just want to send us a Christmas card, feel free. You don't have to, you don't have to put coins in. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll read them out and wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas. So, Neil, you're a gentleman. Thank you ever so much. Oh, right, let's get the... Oh, uh, the camera's gone for a bit. There we go. So, Change Checker. So, this is the, the album, the Change Checker. Excuse me, Walt, if you don't mind. Don't worry, Walt, they're staying around for a little bit longer because... The look has been fantastic. There's the odd little blip, but the look has been fantastic since uh, Walter became our mascot. So this is the, I got this for taking part in a coin tube, a challenge video. And we're trying to obviously trying to get to a set of Olympics, but it's all about the, the trading cards. So we've got all of set one. Big thank you to everyone who's helped us complete this because we've been doing lots of trades and people have sent us lots of cards over the, over the, over the months. And then we're into set two, and then we're into set three. So badminton can come out of there, and it will go in. Although we're calling it goodminton because you just can't have a bad, you can't have a bad Olympic. I think I think I pinched that up on the coin cupboard. Mm. So there is Olympic badminton, fifty pence. Shooting's gonna go there, and then after that, all we need is the Peter Rabbit of two thousand eighteen. Although, like I say. It looks as though set four is out as well, so we look forward to uh, doing that. But yeah, Peter Rabbit 2018, please do give us a shout if you would like to trade for that. If you have it spare, I will be much obliged. Right, Lady M, are you, are you done? I'll tell you what, I'll give you a couple more minutes because I'll, I'll, I'll just, while I'm here, I'll just tell you some of the things that we got. So second channel, Adventures with Bungle Lady M. We went up to Scotland and we stayed there. Um, Bal Balakurish, 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 we think it is. So it was up in the Scottish Highlands. We stayed just on off that lock. I think we think it was just round this corner. I think. Yeah, I think. The corner, I think. I the think. Two locks I think we stayed in the hotel ar around around here on on this side. Um, Glencore, that was it. It was near there, wasn't it? So yeah, so fantastic. Went to see the, the Skyfall site where, where where part of Skyfall was filmed, and saw a lovely waterfall. And what was the other thing? Went to uh, that like, forest trail. Oh yes, and we went on a lovely walk. So do go and have a look there. We had a great time while we were up on up, out on our adventures. Um, so yeah, we got a postcard while we were there. And I also got the magnet. I, I have collected like fridge magnets for, for a while. Got quite a lot. I mean, I've got loads in storage. I've just binned them. Uh, and I started putting a few on the, on the filing cabinet there. And it's just kind of turn into a bit of a tradition really if we kind of go somewhere that we do it so i got this one because um it's it's, look, it's scottish and we went to scotland and it's a sheep but i really got it because it was 50 percent off so i just love i love a bargain so one pound 25 this was for this salt salt tire sheep salt tire salt ire salt tire no idea no salt anyway yeah. so yes i'm gonna wear uh, i'm gonna stick him on the or her is it him or her does he identify as a male or female? Or are, are all sheep female? I bet, yeah, a sheep female, and is it rams that are men? Yeah. Or, or male, or whatever. So there we go, look you at that. You are. You are, yes, are you. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. £1.25 bargain. He's on, he's on the filing cabinet, and that's give Lady M a little bit of time. She'll be messing about, blooming, doing the, doing that. 
and shooting is in there. So Neil, thank you. Dave, thank you very much. Really, really over the moon with that. Love collecting stuff. It's just so, so cool. Right, shall we do some coin hunting? Okay. Yeah, so we want to get Commonwealth Games Wales. Let's put Jim Walter back in his position, back on his throne. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. So a Voltex bag, no date on it. Although it is sealed and the seal bag's inside. We need Commonwealth Games Wales to complete the album. And also the writing has got to be a particular way up as well in order to go into that second album. I'll tell you what, like, when we do finally complete this and maybe it's complete my, because of my solo hunts, I think I'll give up on the two quids. It has been such... I do really need to go back and look to see how long we've been looking for the two pounds uh, to, fill this, to fill this book and to fill the 50p book, but it's just, I think it's a long, long time. Right, I'm kicking us off with a comedies from the Shakespeare set of 2016. We get plenty of them, have done for quite a while. Value, because well, all of them are in at between four and five million, and I think they are only face value, all of the Shakespeare sets. This one, the Marconi, the Marconi, the Wireless Communications, 2001. Yeah, Wireless Bridges, the Atlantic. Lovely looking coin. And again, I think we're looking at face value, unfortunately. Not a lot of two pounds carry a lot of value, I don't think. It's, it's only the, 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 the real biggies, so like the Commonwealth Games, the four of them, the three Olympics, Navy Centenary, maybe. This doesn't like me to do it. Yeah, you just need something else behind it. Charles Dickens. I think it's, it's not quite sure where to focus. Oh gosh, look at that. How shiny is that? 1998. Wow, that is her. That is the biz. That is nice, isn't it? Yeah. The uh, the obverse isn't isn't quite as uh, isn't quite as shiny. Um, well, considering how old it is, it's amazing. Yeah, that that hasn't been in circulation for what twenty three years, has it? No, definitely not. I'll keep that. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep that. So nice. I'll put I'll put it in the plum fine section. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a uh, like a Shakespeare or something because it's so shiny. Yeah, or a two thousand and fifteen because there's a lot of them. Yeah. Fifteen to sixteens are. Been coming into circulation over the over recent months, haven't they? Yeah. That's nice. Again, I don't think there's anything of any real value. I, I don't think, you know, date runs are, are particularly done when it comes to two pounds. So I don't think it's it's worth much, but it's nice and shiny. This definitely is only worth two pounds. The Brunel arches. That is def Brunel is definitely a common one. Oh, and we've got here Shakespeare. Another one. The Skulls tragedy. We have a little look to see if the edge inscription is correct, and it is, because you can get one with for king and country, which is er which is an error, but not this time. Okay. This is another one of them Voltex bags that doesn't have the tears in, because mm -hmm. we we did one recently, didn't we? And sometimes it has the tears to open. Some did, and some didn't. And this doesn't. This does not. I'm over the moon when I'm checking cards. What was that noise? Stomach. I, I really hope that the microphone picks up your well, I can't stomach. Help it. It feels so funny. Because it definitely sounds windy to me. But we won't go there. You are a lady after all. Oh, I know what we can I know what we can tell people. I was thinking about maybe doing it as a live stream, I'm not sure yet. We have a thousand pounds worth of two pound coins to go through. Got them from the post office. Not in seal bags, just in rolling over bags. But I got 1,180 pounds out. I checked the 180 and uh, there was nothing exciting in there. So it might not bode well for the other thousand pounds. But I like the idea of doing another challenge video. We haven't done one for ages. A Bungle versus Lady M challenge. 
you open 500 pounds worth, I open 500 pounds worth. Points are allocated for the commemoratives and we see who's the best. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, so it's quite a long video that, with it being a thousand pounds worth. Mm -hmm. and, and now that we don't edit them, you just get them live and uncouth. I thought it might, is it best to maybe do it as a, as a live stream possibly? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the problem is getting all the coins would probably need them for channel content. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not sure. So let me know what you think in the comments of challenge videos between Lady M and I. We used to do them fairly regularly back in the day. But uh, we, we hardly ever do them now, do we? No. Just a little skeg of the, yes, let me know, challenge or not, where we play off against each other. I did, I did a little edge hunt there, but they were all standing on the shoulders of giants. Mm. And they were all technology. I've thought about the points allocation as well. Army pals. Let's have a look. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Shoulders of giants. I still can't see very well. Isn't All it? the world's a stage, so we've got comedies. So let's have a look. That one there, third from the right. All the rest. Mm, another active union. Oh no, that very, that very one on the right hand side in the fire. So that'll be uh, so many irons in the fire. Another one. Another one of these. In the Brunel Archers scenario, there is that comedies. On fine form tonight, isn't it? Hopefully, they won't be able to hear it, love. Save your embarrassment. Yeah, I'd really like to put this book to bed, like, get the get Wales done. There is the Brunel portrait. Isambard Kingdom Brunel around the outside. Little mini set with these other one from 2006. Niche value other than two girl. quid. One of my favourite two pound coins. There's a Shakespeare's, oh, one of Shakespeare's histories. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the hat trick complete. All three of the Shakespeare, oh, there's one in this bag as well. I think uh, Gibraltar's, uh, Gibraltar Walter mm. is, is letting us down, isn't he? There's another Histories. He hasn't got long to pull a... There's another Histories. He hasn't got long to, to pull something out of the bag, are you like? Let's see if you get a Commonwealth at the last. that what a massive one and then I can just get straight in and pull the last bag <coughs> one of the other beauties of doing unedited videos is that we get Lady M's coffin as well it's always nice to do nice to see well I remember the last time you did it oh, tell me if you get in the boot you'll be getting the boot I can go you know quite happy to are you well are you happy to go I feel like I'm being insulted tonight here for the butt of your jokes. Listen, one, I only speak the truth. Two, you're always the butt of my jokes. That's what you're here for. Well, Sorry, Lady Emma, have I upset you? Right. Have well, I upset you, Lady Emma? Um, Lady Emma, have I upset you? Look. Have I upset you? Have Let's I upset you? Look at the Lady Emma, if, if I have upset you, I apologise. Okay. Are you going to apologise to me? What for? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Right, don't forget. Oh, don't forget. We need to do the. Uh, we need to do the 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 look, don't we? Right. The, it's your the turn to choose for the thumbnail. I chose the last video. Right, choose your plum then. Let's let's choose the plum find. Mm. It is slim pickings, isn't I have it? To go with me, nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, I think I've just found some. Muck, I've just found some muck on it as well. The nineteen ninety eight. Oh no, it's come off. It must have just dropped on. For you, for your dirtiness, dirty mitts. <laughs> Right, fair enough. Oh, that was was it was it was it the army pals with the rotation on to look for rotations? I can't remember. I'm not sure I changed. No, it does. It's got the right thing on. Is is it is it that one that that, that has a rotation error? Mac and Moolah or laughter will tell me. Is that one I've, I've just I've just remembered? It was mentioned weeks ago and I've just completely forgotten. No, it does got the right edge inscription. 
for king and country. Right, so it isn't a particularly good one. Hopefully, seeing some of our post was worth it. Oh, where have I, where have I put the... Where have I put the book? So we will be doing our thumbnail. We got some suggestions of emotions to use. And the one, this is going to be, right, well, I think disgruntled's a good one. So we're going to show the, the emotion of disgruntled as recommended or suggested by Smithy. So let's get that into, into position. There we go. And do disgruntled. <laughs> so I think it's quite apt, really, isn't it? There yeah. we go. That is the thumbnail. We're all done. Gibraltar. Walter. He's on a warning. He'll be out. <laughs> he will be out. Let me know in the comments if we need to oust him. He can come with me. Or does he, does he, I suppose he's, we have, he has done well for us, hasn't he? We can give him a reprieve. Right, it is time for us to go. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.